there's a couple of things you're going to want to get your hands on before you start streaming. So when you're going to utilize OBS to stream or record video, the first thing you want to think about is what is it that you're going to stream or record? What is your source going to be? Your source could be an app. It could be um, a game that you're playing, but it also could be coming from a camera. So physically, you might need to have a camera that you can plug in, like a webcam. Uh, you can often use an iOS device or a phone. We'll kind of jump into a cool hacked way to go about doing that. And if your camera doesn't have a USB port where it will stream webcam to your computer, then you're going to need to have some sort of conversion device, like you see this Blackmagic device or a video capture device. Something to turn HDMI into USB, Thunderbolt, or another format that the computer can read. So your camera might have an HDMI output, but you need something to convert that HDMI into a format that the computer can read, a digitized format. So you might look for a digitizer or something that will encode that video for you. Um, but you also might have a webcam or a camera that has a USB output or a Thunderbolt output that will function as a webcam. You might have to put it into that mode though. So you know not all cameras will shoot that way natively. So you'll need your source, a way to convert that source into a digital format for the computer to understand, and then you need OBS. Now another thing you might want to think about is an audio device. So this can be a microphone, but it can also be an audio interface. So in addition to all that, I can think about how am I going to capture my audio. So you can use an audio device that lets you plug a bunch of microphones into it. Or you can utilize a USB microphone, like a high quality microphone, that will allow you to uh, you know, actually convert into USB right on the microphone. I'm actually using uh, a Samsung G-Track Pro right now. It's a sort of a streamer favorite. A lot of gamers use it uh, for their gaming audio streams because it has such a good range of pickup and you don't have to be right up on top of it, which is kind of nice too. So you've got a lot of different ways to get that audio in. Now, of course, you can capture audio directly out of your computer, but people probably want to hear you. So, you know, it's a little bit better than using the built-in mic. We'll get into the audio devices when we talk about mic placement and mic selection. So you're going to think about all those pieces of hardware before you start going. What is it you're going to stream? How are you going to capture the sound? And how are you going to convert that stream into a digitized format that the computer can understand before it even gets into OBS?